Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood Wars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, just, you know, show me. Where's baby Kimpachi? <laughs> really hope that he does something with this group because it, it's like they're so interesting and because really oh shit I can't say that yet I can't say that yet technically I can't because of spoilers so you know um yeah <laughs> but I would like to see something I mean it's between this or like the hell arc that we're supposedly supposed to be getting soon Ish, I'm guessing because he is so busy um, with the production of this that he's just like, oh, hey. And then also Burn the Witch Season 2, whatever the heck that's coming. So many things to do. So little time. God, they really went in on this. Ooh. Oh, I really thought we were going to literally begin where we ended last week, but no. So you thought. So you thought.
Mm-hmm. You're right about that. became soft. Here they come. Damn. Did you see that? That was nice. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. oh God, these look so good.
<laughs> Coming anyway! Oh god, that still fucking hurts. Even though nope, can't talk about that either. I have to <laughs> You watch on the side. Oh, God. Oh my Oh, baby, you don't know yet.
Mm-hmm. He's telling you the truth. Jesus. Oh, of course they would show her, too. God, everything that I'm feeling again is how I felt when I read it. That's all. <laughs> That's all because, oh, it's, it's a, whoa. Whoa. Ooh, shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. All right. The big elephant in the room. That. We, we okay. I mean... Mm, God, how can I say? It? Well, no, I can kind of say it, but just not giving. I mean, Yangwich really just told Ichigo what it is, but of course he has to figure it out for himself. This was something that, like, I was really besides you know Odin Omeyamoto dying, um, this and a couple of other things. Even though we are not precisely there yet, because of reasons like it, it's because I think. From what I remember, Yonwich is going to come back again, and then he's going to do that. Um, 
which pertains to oh God, can I say that? I don't know if I can. Hmm. Can I say that? Am I do I want to say that though? I do, but then at the same time, I don't. Uh, mm. Okay, I'll say it like this. Like, I'll I'll do it without saying like big ass spoilers for it. It has something to do with the Soul King. That's all. Um, and such. This is like like I said. This first part of it, it is sad because you you lose old man Yamamoto, and then like they lose. It's one of the most messed up things, especially, you know, at the time when I read it for the first time several years ago. Like, I was devastated. I, I mean, we can't even talk about, like, so many other things because, well, mm, can I talk about that too? Fuck it. I'm going to talk about it anyway. Okay, so, like, the, the Byakuya situation. Um, I remember, like, at the time when that, when the the chapter for this episode and the chapter for the previous episode, like, and several other chapters before... We all thought, and a lot of people agreed, and this was like early, God, 2013 at the time. A lot of people wanted um, Byakuya to just, you know, hit the cam. Um, because it was, in a way, sort of deserved and such. Um, that's all I'm really going to say about it. it. It leaves it right here unanswered, so of course I'm not really going to be like, this is what happened. I mean, I know Kubo talked about it in, like, several interviews and such. There were a lot of people and deaths in this show, or really in this manga series, that I was like, uh, I was expecting this to happen, that happened, X, Y, and Z, da, 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 and such. Um, but another thing that I will say, yes, out of our OG 13, um, seeing her was good as fuck. That's all I'm gonna say. And when she officially, this is her official, like, her, well, sneak peek appearance, but when she officially makes an appearance in the show, um, again, and that fight comes, oh, we already know that's gonna be good. Like, the fight between Ichigo and Yangwich is just fight one, and I think in total they have, like, three, three or four fights, I don't remember. Um, that's why, like, their last fight is kind of the shortest, because reasons i can't tell you why so i'm hoping that since kubo is doing production with this he does make that last fight between those two a little longer because i remember when i read it i was like that's it i was expecting more and then it was just like one minute we started next minute we were over and i was like oh, okay i was like yeah we need to like extend <laughs> like extend the shit out of this when this comes anime wise so honestly i cannot wait to see this but literally this was this hurt this really truly hurt as an episode and as an not an anime only because i'm not as a manga reader for this like it hit those like pivotal moments and emotional like feelings that you felt when you first read it and such and you're you're over here like when you read it and you're like oh my god is this really truly how this is going to end for this chapter and then we get to the next episode or we'll do the next chapter and we're like bro like that really just happened last week and stuff like <laughs> jesus it, it was a time to be alive at that time because bro like oh my god every every single chapter in my opinion freaking hit yeah there were a couple of slow ones um in this arc and such but they most definitely hit and we're just we're we're still at like start of it that's all and it's just it's gonna get better and better and such and we're gonna learn more about Ichigo's mom and that was something that I like truly when I read this I was like oh my god like it made me because like it was so funny because at the same time I was re-watching Bleach at the same time when I was reading the last arc and I was like it, and it's so weird because I was like hold up I was like I, I, what do you mean about this <laughs> the third and then it took me like I think a good two or three weeks kind of to figure it out myself and then I was like I want to I want to kind of wait until see to see if I was right and when I found that shit out <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say it, it was good it was everything I 
freaking needed. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 7 of Belief to Thousand Year Blood War. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 8. Bye, guys.